Hey everybody, David Long with Excalibur Rings and in today's ring making video, it's actually going to be a very special tribute to my friend Art. Uh, his channel is Lost in Phoenix. What Art does is he goes around the valley out here in Phoenix and he interviews those who are less fortunate, the kinds of people that we see every single day and we tend to ignore or forget about. So what Art has been doing for the last four or five years is that he's actually been talking to you know, these, these people, these homeless uh, people who live on the streets every day and trying to get to know their story. So what I'm doing today is because uh, Art has hit 100,000 subscribers, um, I told him when he was at 80,000 that if he hits 100,000 that I'm going to make him a ring and this is that video. So the materials that we're using for today's ring is uh, Art told me a while ago that his favorite color is red. So I'm going to be using some synthetic opal here. The opal is just like it's a nice color. It's, it's, it looks almost glo glossy, uh, but it's like bright. Um, and then I'm gonna be adding my own special touch to it, which is uh, meteorite shavings. Uh, the reason why I'm throwing in the meteorite shavings is just to kind of symbolize our YouTube partnership. We've worked together in the past doing community services and uh, drives. Um, so this is uh, just kind of like putting the two brands together. I'm gonna take you through the process of how this ring is made. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. All right, so the first step here is I'm taking the ring blank and placing it on the mandrel, and then I'm gonna start off by adding the meteorite shavings. Uh, these meteorite shavings are authentic. We buy them in bulk from a meteorite supplier. Uh, I'm adding the meteorite shavings with the vial, just kind of twisting and turning so that the, the shavings fall out on their own. And then I'm adding just a slight amount of CA adhesive. Uh, Sienna Acrylite is what it's called. It's basically super glue. This is just a thin version of the standard medium and heavy super glue. I like that it runs so that it can actually travel through the entire inlay. It's on a curved surface and it runs down the sides, basically sealing all the meteorite shavings and then um, any other inlays. What I'm doing next is I'm going to add the crushed red opals and I'm just adding them randomly. Just I want this ring to look organic and natural. I don't want them to, I don't want the same amount of spacing uh, for the red opals so that it just looks like it's a one of a kind ring like it's supposed to. You can see here that I'm adding some more Sienna Acrylite, uh, which I refer to as CA glue. Uh, just to kind of give it like another layer uh, of security and then I'll just let that bond. Um, if you're doing this at home, you can also add some accelerator, which speeds up the bonding process. And then um, taking my time, I, I actually, when I work on my rings, I do them in, in quarters. Uh, I'll work on one side, just going to make it look as detailed as possible. Make sure you just pay special attention to it and then I'll move on to the next section and just keep on doing that until I have the entire uh, ring made and see here I'm spinning the ring slowly so you can see the details and then I'm also during this time I'm looking for um, Any kind of holes or burrs or cracks or anything that I can fill prior to starting the sanding phase I start off with 150 grit sandpaper, which is fairly rough and then I just wet sand this ring the inlay to just get it nice and flush and then I'm add also adding water as a coolant I don't want the inlay to get too too warm while it's spinning at an incredibly fast speed. Um, and then this, take, this whole process takes about 15 minutes or so because I'm moving from 150 grit sandpaper to 300 to 5, all the way up to 1,000 sometimes. And just we just want the inlay to look nice and smooth and and concrete with the rest of the ring. This ring was definitely a lot of fun to make and design. I really like the way that the opal is contrasted out by the meteorite shavings. I think I'm going to uh, do a whole line of these. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and then we're gonna go ahead and actually send this over to Art here in the next couple days. I just, he doesn't know about this video yet. I just told him that I was working on a project for him. Uh, so we'll be sure to try to see if we get a reaction video. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're a fan, uh, please consider subscribing. It greatly helps out the channel. Our website is www.excaliburrings.com. I appreciate all of your support.